At this point, I think this is just becoming a series because you guys seem to love it and I really love making them. Basically, we're taking all our unique builds, going to the 5K 3v3 court in the stage and take it on the tryhards and see how our builds hold up. Today, we are on the one and only Ben Simmons build, the post playmaker build, the build that I was shooting with a 65 three point rating on. But today, we're going to be playing the center spot on the 3v3 court but it's a little bit of a different build if you guys don't remember i mean this build gets pro dribble moves this build still has like the really good defense and finishing like a like, you know, like a paint beast or a glass finisher has that everyone runs on but we can iso on this build like i said we get the pro dribble moves and we have the shooting up a little bit and on top of it just look at the speed man 98 speed this build is all over the court which is really important in these games because people love to spam ankle breakers as they run pick and roll and basically you have to double team the guard because if you don't you're giving up threes so we're taking our Ben Simmons build to the stage 5k court make sure y'all drop a like on the video you guys have been getting all these videos to over 10,000 likes so make sure you get this video to 10,000 likes and we'll continue the series but here we go so if you've been watching my last couple videos you guys know basically in this game if you don't play this game or you don't play it a lot all the tryhards run the same lineup they run a play shot a perimeter lock and a paint beast or a glass cleaning finisher basically the same build an inside center build we're running a very similar lineup play shot perimeter lock but i'm on my ben simmons post playmaker build so basically we have a center with hall of fame playmaking badges so i have on hall of fame dimer hall of fame floor general to help my teammates out you know make it easier for them to shoot for example if my point guard hits me on the roll and the corner helps down i dot the corner my lock is catching off hall of fame dimer now on top of it this build holds its own in the paint literally the only time the other team like dogs us on the glass is if i have to pick up on the point guard because of an ankle breaker what you're gonna see in this in these gameplays ankle breakers are so overpowered in this game like i said basically you have to double team the guard sometimes and it just gives free boards for the center but hey we'll live with that because sometimes you got to give up twos to prevent the threes in these gameplays just because listen threes rule these courts if you give up twos you have a chance if you give up threes you're gonna get blown out but as you can see right off the rip we're already dominating the game we're literally about to get our takeover we get this steal off the inbounds go up for the lay-in we're three possessions into the game and we already have our takeover now if you're someone that likes to play center but you kind of get bored with the fact that you can't contribute much to the offense well this might be the build you want to try out because look at they're pressing us waiting for me to give the ball to the point guard so i'm like you know what i'm just taking it myself do you see how fast i move with the ball Jay misses I get the rebound kick it out that's Hall of Fame Dimer he's not missing two in a row and it goes down so if you're a center that likes to dominate inside but at the same time you get bored just setting screens and rolling to the basket you're gonna see this is a build for you because man look I get the rebound I just go coast to coast man pull up the menu in the middle of the play kick it out to Jay over to hoodie bang we are up 12 to 0 this is a build that you can play like a typical center but you can create on your own and that's why I, I have more fun playing on this than just a regular paint beast or something like that because look it i pop mid-range you don't see paint beast doing that i'm going coast to coast i can iso i get pro dribble moves hall of fame playmaking badges and i can pop <laughs> you only see people running pick and roll on the stage you don't see many people popping especially not on an inside center so like i'm saying this is a build that just adds versatility to your play style it doesn't have to be so you know black and white just cut dry boring you can look it i'm iso and kick it out wide open three I'm out here making plays as a center. We go 4.6 rebounds, four assists in gameplay number one, man. That's pretty damn good. Now, another reason I really love this build is because the way the mechanics of this game are, as I said, a lot of times you have to pick up on the guard. And with 98 speed, I can stay with the guard pretty damn well. Of course, they get the best of me once in a while, but for the most part, I'm able to pick up on the guard really, really well and stay with them. Now, the only problem with that is, as you're going to see, well, I get the offensive rebound, but they get a contest and I missed a layup. But down on the other end, when you do pick up on the guard, it leaves your lock one on one with the dude that has like 90 something rebounding on the paint beast. So look, I do a good job of getting the contest here, but then it's just a free board for the center. He waits, he waits, and he goes up and gets a contact dunk. But like I said, in the stage, sometimes as a center, you got to live with that. You have to take away the threes because if you give up threes, you're gonna lose the game you have to you have to force the other team to take twos and then you gotta you know trust the defense that you're gonna eventually get stops like this chase down block knock it off of him and it's our ball now look at off the reset pro 2 crossover speed glitch past him and dunk the ball that's something that you're not gonna see a paint beast doing now they can speed glitch but not at the speed of this build because of one pro dribble moves and two 
98 speed, 80 ball handling, all that type of stuff matters when you're dribbling the ball. So you can see I can make plays. If we get boxed up or it's late in the shot clock, I can create my own shot, which you don't really see in these, you know, stage games. It's it's always just reset it to the point guard and let him do everything. But, you know, sometimes it gets a little boring. Look it. Read the defense, kick it out, Hall of Fame dimer, Hall of Fame floor general, helping out my lock in the corner. Now, this game was really, really back and forth. The first game we won pretty easily. This game's been back and forth. The seven to seven. They're going to throw a backdoor alley-oop to the lot, cutting out the corner. That was a nice play. I'm not going to lie. A little pro-am vibes on that one. Hoodie hits me on the roll. I get the easy two to tie it up at 9-9. Nine nine. But as we said, giving up threes is what's going to be the downfall of you. And we give up one right here. So they're up 12 to nine now they're basically double teaming hoodie so i'm just gonna slip it get the easy two, cut it to 12 to 11 so it's back and forth we're trying to blitz the ball handler here you see we're trying to get like a trapper animation or get a steal on the handoff but we end up giving up the free two on the slip so we're back down by three we got to try to find a way to tie this thing up hoodie starts to shoot bail out jay back to hoodie wide open three it's a big shot 14 to 14 so this thing is just really going back and forth as much as a game can go back and forth that's what this is it's going to come down to who can get one stop basically the guard has his takeover he speed glitches splits us runs back to the three and gets it hoodie comes right back with a quick stop three on the left wing 17 17 guard has his takeover i step up he shoots a fadeaway can't get it to go jay gets the rebound over their center and their lock and just when you think this game is going to end off on a smooth note now that we got the stop we take the two it's like everything's looking beautiful well here we go this is about the, as wild of an ending as you're gonna get all right so he drives and gets the dunk out of the corner ties it at 19 19 they get a bump steal now it's their ball now it's like we go from in complete control to in big trouble we foul guards gonna try to cook us to the corner jay gets a lurk i grab the loose ball our ball 19 19 and hoodie has this takeover so it's back and forth turnovers on both sides of the ball Hoodie's gonna get a crab. I'm gonna come back, reset the screen and roll. Quick stop at half court, pull up, and we win that game. Back and forth game. Shout out to those guys, man. That was that was honestly a really, really fun game. On to game number three, and we got the same lineup as usual. The play shot, the perimeter lock, and the paint beast. Now, one thing I love about this Ben Simmons build, man, is just how fast it is. Whether you're with the ball or without the ball, you can cover so much ground. Look at the pressing off the inbounds. I just literally outrun everyone and just get a free two and with the way the game mechanics are on this game speed is everything like it is so important to be fast and the fact and, and the fact that i'm basically a center with the speed of a point guard is definitely an advantage so i take the slip i get it cut it to five to four right so we're losing because they got that three early on but check this out man so i'm gonna hard hedge the guard he hits the roller i glass it grab the rebound i already have my takeover i go coast to coast get a showtime dunk like i'm out here making plays as a center man as a center long board hoodie grabs it again i'm out i am gone center has no chance eight to five just just pure speed on the court man pure speed on the court look at our hedge defense i throw the center out of the way because i got the glass takeover throw it up to jay for the easy transition dunk 10 to 5 in the blink of an eye we take control of this game right so now don't give up threes and we're in business and he bangs a white so now it's 10 to 8 back on the other end set a screen roll to the basket hoodie hits me showtime dunk now don't forget one of the biggest benefits of this build is the hall of fame playmaking badges because look it pick and roll i slip corner helps dot corner that's hall of fame dimer man hall of fame floor general my lock even if he's shooting whites he's gonna make a lot of them and then you know it's also gonna help him shoot greens because the floor general is giving him the plus four to his rating making it easier to shoot but look at ankle breaker dot corner there's the big greens by jay and that's ball game like that's an easy quick little 5000 vc in the pocket on the ben simmons build but i got one more game for y'all all right one more game here we go play shot perimeter lock glass cleaning finisher the same lineup every game i know i know but that's what this game is man it's it's just repetitive and that's why you see people like tysina going back to 2k20 a lot of people are going back to 2k20 now i'm gonna do wagers over there just because of how repetitive this game is but i'm doing the best i can to keep it interesting bringing these unique builds to the stage and whatnot switching up the lineup switching up the play style i'm doing my best listen it puts us at a disadvantage some games you know we're not running with the the most comp builds easiest builds to win on but i'm gonna be honest this build at center 
you could make the argument in some aspects it's better than the meta paint beast builds this build holds its own and it has advantages over the paint beast and then disadvantages as well this build you could call this a meta build honestly to run at center this build is that good at center some of the other builds like my james harden build the 6-5 shot creator like that is not as good of a build as the 6-1 play shots that everyone plays on because they have the hall of fame playmaking and the 99 speed and all that but this build here you can make the argument in some cases it's better than these inside center builds look at grab the rebound post spin go baseline for the one hand dunk like the 98 speed on this build just makes it super super glitchy because you can just you can just cover so much on defense and just do so much on offense i would still say the the pure red paint beast builds are like the the meta builds just because that it is easier to play on those just because of the higher rebounding the higher uh defensive ratings and whatnot but honestly playing on this if you're a good player it doesn't put you at a disadvantage on defense and then on offense it certainly is an advantage with the hall of fame playmaking and the ability to have pro dribble moves and iso and and actually be able to create your own stuff i mean look at what i'm doing on defense man i pick up on the play shot make him pass to the corner i run to the corner on the rotation get the contest on the shot we end up giving up the free board but like i said i mean that's the really the only time i'm getting you know i'm giving up rebounds to the centers is if i have to pick up at the three-point line which listen any center has to do that like if you're a good center you're gonna pick up on the three and and end up giving up the free board sometimes because listen if you give up threes you're gonna lose like we're, they're giving up threes and they're losing i'm picking up on everything occasionally giving up the free board and whatnot it is what it is you got to do what you got to do ain't nobody worried about a board count we're just worried about trying to win the game ben simmons build 5k court dogging people man hopefully y'all enjoy drop a like subscribe if you guys are new i'll catch you on the next one i'm out peace